Hello traders and welcome back to XM.com. Trading has been quite volatile this week, uh, so at this video I'll briefly explain my analysis on three markets which I think are very close to a turning point. So the first one is uh, Euro Yen. Uh, the pair has been in a bearish wave since uh, mid of August, hitting a low of 155.44. But uh, what is interesting here is that uh, the pair has formed a hammer candlestick, which, is, which technically could be a sign of a bullish reversal, especially as we are very close to uh, the August uh, 9 month low of 154.37. So uh, since we are very close to previous lows and the RSI, the stochastic oscillators over here also within the oversold territory, then an upside reversal is uh, is highly likely. So uh, now in order to confirm that scenario, uh, the price should close above uh, yesterday's closing price of 156.74. Uh, that could confirm this uh, hammer candlestick uh, bullish pattern and therefore could uh, activate fresh buying probably towards the 159.34 level where the 23.6% Fibonacci tracement of this down leg is located. Uh, then above for that, the next target could be the 20-day uh, moving average currently seen near 160.27 and uh, we can find the tentative uh, resistance trend line from uh, mid of July within the same region. So that could be, uh, that area could be challenging before we head towards the 162, 162.40 region where this falling constraining line and the 38.2% Fibonacci level are both placed. Um, now, uh, even if we reach that territory, that wouldn't improve the short-term outlook. The pair could still remain within a sideways, uh, within uh, a sideways pattern. So, for an outlook improvement, uh, the price should uh, make new higher highs above the 200-day moving average and the 50-day moving average. Uh, currently seen near 164, while a break above the 50% Fibonacci mark of 164.90 could uh, be more encouraging. Now, in the event uh, the price reverses to the downside, if uh, this hammer candlestick pattern proves a false signal, then uh, the price may return uh, to test the 150 54.37 low, a break of which could take us down to 153 and then lower than that, uh, the 151.30, 151.60 region has been a former uh, important support territory, so that could be uh, the next uh, pivot point. Now looking at uh, dollar Swiss franc, uh, well, we had the candlestick pattern here as well, an encouraging one. Basically, uh, the price created a dodgy candlestick at the start of the month. Uh, however, that was a neutral signal until we got a uh, green candlestick the next day. So that created, uh, uh, so that helped the price to, uh, to, to gain more momentum and reach the 0.8540. Uh, resistance territory which blocked upside movements at the start of the month. Uh, well, uh, the RS and the stochastics uh, are sloping upwards, so uh, that is that is uh, endorsing the bullish action in the market. However, the RSI is still uh, below 50 and the stochastic oscillator is so already very close to 80, so downside risks cannot be uh, excluded, especially as the price is still very close to that resistance trend line over here. So uh, to confirm additional gains, we have to close above the 0 0.85 uh, 40 region in order to to uh, test the 0.8593 level, which is the 23.6% Fibonacci tracement of this down leg. Then above that, uh, the 0.8650 uh, mark might attract attention since the 50-day uh, moving average is approaching that uh, constraining zone. While higher than that, uh, the pair should uh, uh, overcome the 0.8713 level, which is the 38.2% uh, Fibonacci mark, in order to officially uh, violate this uh, down leg over here. Now, if uh, the price were to uh, to were to reverse to the downside and fall below the 20-day uh, moving average currently seen around 0.8498, uh, uh, I expect uh, the next support to come around this uh, uh, longer-term uh, constraining line over here, 
which is currently seen around 0.8420. A break below that could tr could uh, cause a sharper decline, probably towards 0.8330. Uh, that has been a former uh, key uh, support territory. So another violation here might uh, might cause might upset traders, likely uh, likely causing a steeper decline towards the 2015 bottom of 0.82. And uh, finally, looking at gold, uh, I think that is, uh, well, gold has been, uh, if we look at the four hour chart, gold has been in a sideways move for a couple of uh, weeks now. Uh, the interesting thing here is that uh, gold is still uh, put, making efforts to uh, climb above its uh, 25 uh, 2530 uh, level, which is which was a record high. Uh, back in August. So uh, this seems to be the sailing of uh, this uh, sideways trajectory, a break of which could take us, uh, could uh, trigger another uh, impressive rally towards the 2565 region where this uh, resistance line coming uh, coming from the uh, 2483 level is, um, is uh, located. So uh, that could be the next uh, that could be the next resistance, and then above that, all the attention will turn to the 2600 uh, psychological mark. If we look at the technical indicators, well, uh, we can see that uh, the RSI is above 50. Uh, however, it has yet to show a clear uh, positive trajectory. It's still very close to 50, while the MACD has yet to move above its red signal line. So uh, that, kind of, that is somewhat questioning whether we'll have a bullish breakout in the coming sessions. Uh, nevertheless, uh, for that to happen, the 2500 level should uh, remain, uh, should stay, uh, should keep supporting the market. So uh, unless we violate uh, that territory, uh, upside pressures may persist. Otherwise, failure to rebound here could take us down to the uh, 2490 level, which is a 23.6 percent Fibonacci retracement of this uplook over here. Uh, bre lower than that, uh, the price may may move straight to the bottom of this uh, horizontal move near the uh, 200 day moving average at 2470 and 2468. Uh, we can see that the 38.2% uh, Fibonacci level is also very is also close to that region, so uh, that could be considered important. Um, territory before we move towards the 50% Fibonacci of 2440 and uh, slightly lower than that uh, there is uh, uh, this uh, low over here of 2430 could be also uh, could also come under examination so uh, that's all for uh, that's everything i wanted to share with you guys uh, thank you for watching and see you next week uh, bye bye for now